Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Batwoman. Kate Kane is out, Ryan Wilder is in, no it's not a guy. What? No, they're not replacing Batwoman with a man, because that would just be Batman. I know, Robert Pattinson does look like a bitch, doesn't he? Let's talk about it. Monkeys, roll the footage. Batwoman to feature a new lead character after Ruby Rose's departure. Yes, now after covering 20 episodes of this show, I did develop Stockholm Syndrome and a crush on short-haired Australian lesbians, Ruby Rose in particular. Are you fucking high? But alas, apparently a new contender will be entering the arena when Batwoman returns to television. The CW series is opting not to recast the role of Kate Kane you're going to fix that, right? Played by Rose in season one. Yes, they are creating a completely new character, which is absolutely hilarious because there's never been another Batwoman in the comics. I'm not a Batwoman comic reader, although I have done my homework and I do know that there has only been one Batwoman and that is Kate Kane. Check out the big brain. You're a smart motherfucker. That's right. They're treading on uncharted territory right now when they bring the show back. So we'll have to see how this goes. I don't think it's going to work out too well. I'm going to kind of highlight this article for you guys. I want you to see my smiling face today. Hi. I love doing Batwoman videos, right? Following the surprise departure of Rose, the title role at the end of CW superheroes drama first season was left, so they're creating a new character. This character will be named Ryan Wilder, which is an ambiguously... Oh, what the fuck ever? Hilarious name choice. Of course, they have to make it a gender neutral name. I mean, are they going to go full on T here and, you know, cast a Transformer? I, I don't know, you know. Uh, this news came from a Batwoman Reddit post. It's been since deleted. It was a casting call. Actress in her mid 20s. Uh, I believe they said any ethnicity. Of course, they did. Because if they're not doing Kate Kane, that really opens it up. You know, they can pick anybody they want. And here's the description. I'm going to read you this verbatim because it's kind of funny. She's likable, messy, a little goofy and untamed. She's also nothing like Kate Kane, the woman who wore the bat suit before her. I hope they clean the bat suit. That's rather unhygienic. The notice reads, according to Decider, with no one in her life to keep her on track, Ryan spent years as a drug runner, dodging the GCPD and masking her own pain with bad habits. A girl who could steal milk for an alley cat. He's got soul. I've got plenty of soul. Also kill you with her bare hands. Stunning and brave. So stunning. So brave. Slay queen. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan is the most dangerous type of fighter. A highly skilled, yet wildly undisciplined. An out lesbian. Athletic, raw, passionate, fallible, and very much not your stereotypical all-American hero. So this is going to be a fucking dumpster fire, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be a hot mess. Actually, it'll be a one-way ticket on the Hot Mess Express on the way to Cancellationville. Population Batwoman. This, they'll, but you know what? They'll probably get subpar ratings kind of like they did with ruby rose and they'll be like it's a success people love it <laughs> and they'll just keep it on the air like they did supergirl and march to the beat of that drum for seven seasons oh you know i used to like the flash and the flash went full on woke they should have canceled it three seasons ago yet they're still going on berlanti doesn't know when to stop i mean he's got 18 shows so he's making some money so they figure losing a little bit of money on this won't be bad right so it says, Batwoman made a history in the 2019-2020 season as the first scripted live-action series featuring a lesbian superhero at the top of the call sheet. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Rose faced immediate backlash on social media after she was cast and would eventually quit Twitter, although she remains active on Instagram. The only reason she quit Twitter was because the Alphabet community was mad at her because she wasn't gay enough for them. Because I think she was gender fluid or bisexual. She wasn't completely like lesbian. So that is not gay enough. See, this is the thing. The Phantom Menace, people like me, we get chastised for being bigots. But I've never once complained about an actress who's gay not being gay enough. Doesn't make any sense. I've never said, ah, oh, well, I mean, okay, so you might say, well, you were complaining about them making Batwoman a lesbian. Well... 
the first one was a lesbian. You have a new character. So why does she have to be a lesbian too? It's a completely different character. Still got to be a lesbian though. Like, does that make any sense? I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Does that make any sense to anybody or is it just me? Because I, I seriously am having issues correlating the benefit of making both characters lesbian. It's obvious the audience didn't respond to Ruby Rose. So what? They're like, we'll just throw another lesbian in there and try again. I mean, we'll just, it, it's like the scene from UH. Ah, screw it. Here it is right here. Here we go. Get ready and fly! Oh, man. Do you see what I mean? Did that clip help illustrate what I'm talking about? It's like the definition of insanity. You keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. I will I will book it. I will put money on it to say that Batwoman's ratings will not improve this second season. They won't. I'll review every episode again. I can't believe I just said that. Son of a bitch. What is wrong with me? He was a retard. I mean, l really. I, I feel like I'm going crazy here. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. It's going to be me. I'm going to be in a mental institution looking through Ray Finkel's box of Dan Marino merchant. <laughs> Serenity now! Serenity now! But seriously, folks, this is hilarious. Uh, let's, go, let's go on here. Which produces the series, and the CW said in their own statement that they would cast another member of the LGBTQ alphabet title role. Warner Brothers TV, which produces the series, and the CW said in their own statement they would cast another member of the alphabet community to play this role. So they came right out and said it. You know, that corporate virtue signaling, they're like, fire up the bat virtue signal. <laughs> Like I said, this is just, it's its ridiculous. You you could make this one not a lesbian. I'm not saying you have to, but doesn't it kind of seem like pandering if both characters are, especially if it's a different character? Like dozens of other series, Batwoman was forced to end its season early. Yeah, and they only did 20 out of a planned 22 episodes with a 20th episode. Not supposed to be the season finale, but it served as a series season finale and what would be the finale of the series for Rose. So what do you think? Is this completely ridiculous? Am I completely insane for reviewing another season of this show? Should they just cast a heterosexual woman to play this role? I'm not saying that the the preferred partners matters to the theme of the show. It doesn't matter thematically. What is the sense of emphasizing who the character sleeps with before we really even know the character. Do it organically. Let us meet the character. Then, based on audience audience response, you'd be okay, so we could do a little more of this, we could do a little more of that. I know they shoot the whole season, the episodes before they air, but it's still, it just seems like pandering to me. If it was organically done and she was a lesbian character, then so be it. It's fine. But don't make a big deal out of it like this. Like you're just running around. Of course, it's Pride Month, so they have to fly their fucking rainbow flag around and complain and you know, oh, it's we need more representation. It's like, well, okay, nobody's saying that that's a bad thing. Do it organically. That's all we ask. Don't do a stupid approach to this, make it watchable, okay? Because obviously the ratings of season one weren't great. Not many people wanted to suffer through that trash. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Monkeys, roll the footage. Let's take it home. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Twitty. Hello. Nice to see you. It's been a long time. How's your new love? Are you happy? Hope you're doing later. Here's where you can find us all across social media at TV2BR on Instagram, the Place to Be Reviews page on Facebook, the official Place to Be Reviews fan page, that's our private group, at the Place to Be RE1, at N80 Pete on Twitter, past podcast available on Anchor, iTunes, and Spotify. And now, the place to be reviews on Discord. You can also email us if you're old fashioned, okay, boomer, at the place to be reviews at mail.com, the world's best mail. Thank you very much. Also, on the way out, don't forget to bitch slap that like button. Do me that big solid, would you? Yeah, I think you can do that. Also, hail the Phantom Menace. Hail to thee, my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Help us grow the channel. Hail the Fandom Collective. 
group, which we are proud members of now. We'll be working with them on a lot of collaborations in the near future. And I'd like to personally thank you all for joining the Place to Be Reviews. That's right, I'm Itepa Kuyan of the Place to Be Reviews right here with all yous. Remember, if I don't see you, have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow.